continuing to our journey of Kansas Mechanism Algorithm. Till date, we have seen the different type of Kansas Mechanism Algorithm, the concept of Kansas Algorithm, Byzantine concept, Byzantine fault tolerant, proof of work, proof of stake, and the major Kansas Algorithms which is used in blockchain. Today, in this video, we'll be focusing on some more consensus mechanism algorithm. These consensus algorithms, which we will be discussing today, focuses more on that the transactions speed should be more. It is having a more number of transaction processing. The size of block is considered and they deals with permissioned blockchain. A permission blockchain, as we have already seen, is a blockchain which requires a node to have a valid permission to join a chain. When a node requires a valid permission to join a chain, the focus of the blockchain is more on transaction processing. That transaction processing requires less time. Therefore, it gives birth to new consensus mechanism algorithms. We will be seeing some of the consensus mechanism algorithm today. Proof of elapsed time is one such consensus mechanism algorithm. Proof of elapsed time was developed by Intel in 2016. In 2016, Intel developed this proof of elapsed time for permissioned blockchain. It utilizes blockchain on Hyperledger Sawtooth, which is a group of blockchain platforms. It works on the principle of a lottery system, a valid lottery system where a leader is elected. It elects the leader by giving a random waiting time. Every node generates a random wait time. To generate this random wait time, a specialized system is developed by Intel which runs a secure code. Every node runs that secure code to generate a random wait time. And for that wait time, the system, the node goes to sleep. As soon as the wait time of a node is over, the first node who awakes from the wait time wins the race. So the winner is one which has generated with the shortest wait time. Proof of elapsed time is used for permission blockchain. It avoids the huge amount of computation which was required by proof of work. It works on the principle of that a random wait time is given to every node. It has certain things which has to be kept in mind that the wait time should be random for every node. A situation should not come where a node manipulates the wait time. Second situation which is of concern is that a node becomes active before the wait time is over. To prevent this, Intel has developed a high-end technology, a high-end system is developed by Intel which is used by the blockchain network which uses proof of elapsed time. So proof of elapsed time is one of the alternative of proof of work and proof of stake which we have already seen. So, Continuing to other algorithms of consensus mechanism algorithms, let's see these more algorithms now. Proof of authority. Proof of authority is another algorithm which works only for permissioned blockchain. Proof of authority is having a concept which gives high fault tolerance and it works on the principle that 
certain pre-validated nodes can create the blocks. The blockchain network decide depending upon the reputation of the nodes that these are the nodes which are allowed to create a block. They have the authority to create a block and they are known as validity nodes. These validity nodes select a leader for a particular time. Out of n validity nodes, one of the validity nodes become a leader at a particular time which have the power to create a node and join it into a blockchain. It improves the high transaction rates and it does not require a high-end hardware as it was required in proof of elapsed time. A blockchain platform which uses it, example of a blockchain platform is Alpa. Alpa is one of the blockchain platform which uses this proof of authority. Proof of authority has an advantage that it does not need high-end hardware. A huge amount of computation is not required, but it has a disadvantage as it has limited actors, limited participants. Only limited validators can have the possibility to join the block. A real-world example of proof of elapsed time is JP Morgan Bank. JP Morgan Bank uses proof of elapsed time in its blockchain JPM coin for validating the transactions for checking the audits of the bank. This proof of authority can be used definitely where the number of actors are few in a private blockchain in an organization like a bank. Let's see another consensus mechanism algorithm which falls under the same category which is known as proof of interest, proof of importance. This proof of importance is a modification of proof of stake. Proof of stake was involving the feature that the blockchain platform which is having a high amount of stake, the blockchain node which is having a high amount of stake in terms of cryptocurrency can only join the block. This proof of importance adds certain more variables in it and adding these variables make it more compatible as compared to proof of stake. It becomes more flexible. It adds the things like it adds the thing like number of transactions size of transactions, activity clusters. The number of transactions a node has executed, the size of the transactions which the node has executed, the number of transactions it has done with peer nodes that is known as an activity cluster. It These alternatives, these measures are taken into the consideration to decide that which node will be chosen to add a block into the chain. So these alternative measures are used to modify the proof of a stake. If a node has participated in larger number of transactions, the size of the transaction is more. It has communicated with larger number of peer nodes for the transactions. These measures give that node to become a valid node to create a block into the chain. Let us consider the example of a blockchain platform called NAM. In NAM, the cryptocurrency of NAM is known as XEM. X -E -M. In NAM, a block, a node can have the permission to join the block into the chain if it has participated in 10,000 transactions and if it has participated in last 43,200 blocks approximately 30 days and if there are transaction partners with it. So depending on these features a node is validated 
and it becomes a valid node to join a block into the chain. These were some of the more consensus mechanism algorithms apart from the major algorithms like proof of stake and proof of work. To summarize, when we deal with permissionless blockchain platform, consensus mechanism algorithm plays an important role. But when we are talking about permission blockchain, our focus is on transaction processing time. The transaction should take less amount of time. At the same time, the consensus mechanism algorithm should take and consume lesser energy. So this proof of authority, proof of elapsed time, proof of importance are some of the consensus mechanism algorithm which help in doing all these things and achieving a better transaction processing time.